If you're a dude who's currently working out three to five times a week, you feel like you're eating healthy, you feel like you're doing cardio, but you're just not seeing the results you want, then this video is gonna be for you. If you feel like you're working so hard in the gym, but no matter what you do, you can't get rid of the belly fat. Maybe you've tried a bunch of different diets, you've tried a bunch of different workout programs, but none of them seem to work. This is exactly what you need to fix and the four bad habits you're gonna have to overcome if you wanna get rid of fat in 2024. And so what Paul did before he started working working with me was he was working out consistently, he was doing all the right things, he was eating all the right foods. He really thought it was just his age and his genetics, but the truth was it wasn't, it was these four things. This was exactly how Derek felt, the same exact way at the age of 56, working out regularly, trying to eat clean, trying to make good decisions with his nutrition, but now he's in the best shape of his life when we made these fixes and changes. This is how Ryan felt, even though Ryan was tracking his macros, he was doing hit cardio, he was trying all these different programs, but nothing was changing in his body. He knew he needed to transform his body Body to become the best husband and father possible. And once we made these shifts, everything changed for him. So right now I'm gonna share four bad habits that are keeping you from the body of your dreams and the bad habits that are gonna keep you fat. So my name is Trent Harrison. I'm the CEO and founder of Ransom Bodies Training and I do this every single day. I've helped transform over 1,000 men and helped them become the best version of themselves possible. These are the four most common habits that I see that are holding men back from becoming the best version of themselves and transforming their physique. The first one is not eating enough protein and following following a low protein diet. When you don't eat enough protein, it's gonna keep you fat. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, if I eat too much protein, it's gonna get me big and bulky and that's not what I want. I wanna lose weight. So my goal is to eat as least amount of food as possible, which is absolutely the farthest thing from the truth. Eating protein at every single meal can significantly impact your body's ability to burn body fat. When you follow a high protein diet, what it's gonna do is it's gonna help boost your metabolism in a way that no other foods can. This is called the thermic effect of food. So basically what that means, this means your body's ability to break down and process food at a rate compared to the other types of foods. So we have three different macronutrients. You have carbs, fats, and proteins. When your body digests protein, it takes more energy, aka calories, in order for it to break down the protein in your body. And so if you ate 100 calories of protein versus 100 calories of carbs, your body's gonna burn more calories by consuming 100 calories of protein versus the carbs. And so over time, if you start to eat protein at every single meal, you are actually going to burn more fat than if you ate more carbs. Most men think they're eating enough protein, but they're really not. And so what you need to do is you need to to audit all of your meals and ask yourself this one question, are you getting enough protein in? So a great place to start is 0.8 to one gram per pound of your goal body weight. So for example, if you wanna weigh 200 pounds and you currently weigh 230 pounds, a good goal is to shoot for 200 grams of protein per day. And so an easy way to hit that is, let's say you ate 40 to 60 grams of protein per day, anywhere from four to six times per day. And so audit all of your meals and ask yourself, are you getting protein at each and every one of those meals? If not, then you need to shift it. Here are my three favorite ways to help get more protein in if you feel like you struggle hitting your protein goals. Number one is to increase your portion sizes. So let's say right now you're eating about four to five ounces of chicken when you have dinner. Instead of eating four to five ounces of chicken, bump that up to eight ounces of chicken. And that's gonna give you an extra, let's say 20-ish grams of protein per day. Another thing you could do besides increasing your portion sizes, do you go, go from one egg to two eggs or two eggs to three eggs, etc. is to have more protein shakes, more scoops of protein powder. So one of the things that I like to do is go from one scoop of protein powder per day to two scoops. And an easy way to do this is when you do your protein shakes, one of the things I tell my clients all the time is do a scoop and a half of protein or do two scoops of protein at a time. That's totally fine. And so you can absolutely use two to three scoops of protein per day to help hit your protein goals. That's the point of it. It's to stuff, supplement it. When you eat more protein, also what it's going to do is it's going to help you build more lean muscle. And so when you build more lean muscle, you are going to burn more body fat. So when you're in the gym, your goal is to build muscle. When you're outside of the gym, your goal is to lose body fat. And so protein is the most satiating macro. And what I mean by satiating is when you eat more protein, when you start to eat protein at every single meal, it's actually going to fill you up more than carbs and fats will, 100%. And so you're gonna eat less carbs, you're gonna eat less fats, you're not gonna be as hungry throughout the day, and you're not gonna feel like you're starving yourself in order to lose fat, which is gonna help this entire process be a lot more sustainable. The problem with intermittent fasting, the problem with a lot of these fad diets is it's really hard to get the protein numbers in of 200 grams. It's not impossible, but it's hard, which is gonna leave you feeling starving and make you go back to your old diet, all right? Number two is not knowing your numbers. Just imagine this for a second. Imagine if your favorite business, Apple, Microsoft, et cetera, 
Cobra, they didn't know their numbers. Businesses would fail. If a business doesn't track its numbers, then a business fails. You look in the mirror and you grab your belly fat and you're like, oh, nothing changing. You step on the scale and you're like, oh, I didn't lose weight this week. If all you're using to track your progress in the gym and outside of the gym is the scale and is how you look in the mirror, you're setting yourself up for failure. That's why you're not motivated. That's why you're not consistent because you're not tracking the right metrics. As a coach, I make it mandatory that every single one of my clients knows their numbers to a T. And here are the exact numbers that I make every single one of my clients track. This way we never hit plateaus and we're always getting results every single week. And so the first one is calories. We want to get dialed in on the calories they're consuming every day. The second one is macros, protein, carbs, and fats. We need to know exactly how many macros they're eating every single day. The third is movement goals. So how many steps they're getting. The fourth is rest times in between sets. The fifth is weight lifted. So we need to be tracking how much weight everyone is lifting on a weekly basis. The sixth is water intake. How much water should you be eating to get to your goals? And then seventh is going to be amount of pounds lost per week and average weight on a weekly basis. We take all of these metrics and we put them together and we make sure that we're always getting results and never ever plateauing. Being healthy is not going to cut it in 2024. You need to get crystal clear on exactly how much you're eating, exactly how much weight you're losing, and exactly how much weight you're lifting on a weekly basis. I don't care if you're getting stronger. I don't care if you're doing cardio. I don't care if you're working out more. These are not good enough numbers if you actually want to see results in 2024. Get your numbers dialed in and then create a plan based around those numbers and your goals so it's super, super simple and you actually have a system in order to get the body that you want. I get tracking calories is boring. Like I totally understand. But I want you to think of it this way. Guess what's worse? What's worse is looking in the mirror and not liking what you see. What's worse is going on vacation and wearing a shirt into the pool because you're scared and you're insecure about looking at your man boobs from other people. What's worse is going to the doctor and then being like, hey bro, John, I'm gonna have to put you on blood pressure and cholesterol medications because you're not taking care of yourself. What's worse is having to get a knee replacement because you're so heavy and you have so much extra body fat on your body that your body just can't handle it. And so when you look at it that way, tracking calories is not that bad. And a lot of the times it's the boring things that you don't want to do, the boring things that you're avoiding to do that are going to lead to the best results. And that's what knowing your numbers is going to do for you. Number three, this is the third habit that's going to keep you fat in 2024. And it's out training a bad diet. You cannot out train a bad diet. I don't care how hard your workout is. I don't care how sore you get after a leg day. I don't care how much you're sweating. I don't care how many calories your Apple Watch says you burn. Calories are unforgiving. If you did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster and you burned 300 calories, working your tail off, sweating, like going through the work, then you went home and you rewarded yourself with a 300 calorie cookie, you literally just ate back all the calories that you worked so hard for in the last three minutes. No matter how hard you train, you will never be able to out train your bad diet ever, period. So instead of going to the gym to lose fat, this is what I tell every single one of my clients, and this mindset is gonna change your life. You need to go to the gym to build muscle. I don't care if you have 100 pounds to lose. Every time you step into the gym, your mindset is switched, where now it's building muscle time. When you're outside of the gym, now you're focused on fat loss. And so when I'm inside of the gym, I'm not like, oh, I need to burn as many calories as possible so I can lose as much fat. I'm like, no, I'm trying to build as much muscle as possible inside of the gym. Because I understand that the majority of fat loss doesn't happen in the gym. The majority of fat loss happens outside of the gym. And when you have this mindset shift, everything changes for you. Because the calories you burn inside of the gym are just a bonus to your fat loss. And that's the truth. This is a mental switch you're going to have to make if you actually want to see results in 2024. Number four biggest habit you need to fix in 2024 if you actually want to see results, if you actually want to lose fat sustainably, if you actually want to get down to 10%, if you actually want to love what you see in the summer, is getting enough sleep. The bad habit that is keeping you fat is your constant and consistent sleep deprivation. I get it, you're busy. I get it, you have too much on your plate right now and I get you have no time in the day. I get we need more hours in the day, but not getting a minimum of six hours per night of sleep is keeping you fat and here's exactly why. It's not only keeping you fat, but it's also affecting every single area of your life. You're just making things much more difficult for yourself. This is by far one of the most overlooked areas for fat loss and if you fix this, everything will change. Some of my clients that were literally sleeping four hours per night when they started with me, I immediately, that was the first thing that I fix. I'm like, if we do not fix your sleep, it's going to be really hard for you to lose that 30 pounds. It's going to be really hard for you to get to 10% body fat. And when we got their sleep up to six to seven hours per night, the weight just started falling off. Why? Because when you don't sleep well, your hunger 
levels skyrocket. So you could have all the self-control in the world, you could have the perfect meal plan, you could have the perfect calories, you could know exactly what your numbers are, but because you're not sleeping good, you're still making those bad eating decisions and you're still caving to your cookies, sweets, candy, etc. because you're not sleeping the way you should. You lose your ability to have self-control, you lose the discipline, you can't think right, you got mental fog, your cortisol and stress levels are through the roof, so you end up making bad decisions around food. And when your stress hormones affected, it makes it even harder to lose body fat because now cortisol is released in your body. And so you might be thinking to yourself, Trent, like it's impossible for me to get more sleep. I got a newborn baby at home. Trent, it's impossible to get more sleep. Like I just started my business and I'm working 60, 70 hours a week. Here's what I want you to focus on. Focus on what you can control. One of my favorite ways to fix sleep is this. So maybe you're sleeping four and a half hours a night, shoot for sleeping five hours a night. Start with 15 to 30 minute increments and work your way up from there. Also utilize the 10, three, two, one, zero method. And this right here will fix your sleep and help you fall asleep better, get better quality sleep and get more sleep. So the 10, three, two, one, zero method is this. 10 hours before bed, no caffeine. Three hours before bed, start to cut down food and no alcohol. Two hours before bed, shut work down. So you're not working two hours before you go to sleep. One hour before bed, that's when you turn off all screen time. So you stop watching TV, you stop scrolling on social media, you stop checking your email, etc. Zero is you never hit the snooze button in the morning. And when you focus on the 10, three, two, one, zero method, it's gonna help you get better quality of sleep. Fixing your sleep, getting a solid six to eight hours of sleep every single night on average, gonna help you lose fat faster, make better decisions, show up as a better man, and you're gonna overall just feel like a better person. And so the four habits you need to fix in 2024, if you wanna actually see results, if you wanna actually lose fat, if you wanna actually change your life, is number one, stop eating a low protein diet. Number two, make sure you know your numbers and a lack of not knowing your numbers is keeping you fat. Number three is trying to out train your bad diet, go to the gym to build muscle, lose fat when you're outside of the gym. And then number four is not sleeping enough. Prioritize your sleep and don't overlook this if your goal is to get into the best shape of your life. So I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, make sure you like, save, and comment any questions you have below. Make sure you subscribe as well. If you want to learn what, more about what it would look like to work closely one-on-one -on -one with me, just go to the link in the description below and then fill out the quick application and I will literally personally reach out to you to give you more info on how I can best help. Have the best day of your entire life. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.